CKE restaurant CEO. They own Carl's Jr. and Hardee's. He's Andy Puzder. He joins me now. He's also an economic advisor for Trump. Um, Andy, here's what's going on is the New York Times, the uh, CNN, they're calling it a healthy jobs report, 73 straight months of jobs creation. Um, what are your thoughts? Well, they're, look, they're really trying to put a lipstick on a pig with this one. We've got, uh, you, you went through the numbers, but we added 230,000 people to the employable population. That's people that are 16 years and older that aren't in jail or the military. 230,000 of them. 43,000 fewer people are employed. So even though they added jobs, you've got fewer people employed than we had coming into this, uh, into the end of October. These are terrible numbers. They don't, it, it, the economic policies that lead to these numbers make absolutely no, this is not systemic. Uh, this, is po this is a problem with policy. It's tax policy, regulatory policy, policy energy, and, and trade. I mean, look, we, of the jobs created last month, of the people that found jobs, over 100,000 fewer full-time jobs but about 90,000 more part-time jobs. It's Obamacare strikes again. Every time you turn around, Obamacare is having another negative impact on the economy. Th these were miserable numbers, but I did love uh, Governor Huckabee's comment about Trump versus the grump. I, uh, I thought that fit real well after listening to Hillary Clinton yell in my ear for the past few minutes as I was sitting here waiting for the interview. You know, you, with 100 other business leaders, um, you basically put out an opinion piece declaring support for Donald Trump. Can yes. he conceivably bring jobs back to America? Can a Donald Trump go down to Washington, D.C., dynamite out the status quo and change trade policies? I mean, he's got to get both houses behind him. Can he do it? Yeah, he absolutely can do it. I, we're going to have a Republican House. I pray that we'll have a Republican Senate, but we're going to have a very dynamic president who's been a CEO. He knows how to lead. Everybody knows the tax code needs to be revised and that it should be generating economic growth. It shouldn't be out there trying to do uh, income redistribution. Everybody knows we need an energy policy that leads to energy independence, not one that just focuses on trying to solve the world's problems with climate change. Everybody knows we need a smaller government that will be more friendly towards business and help businesses grow instead of trying to get the government to grow. And people know, look, there's nothing wrong with trade. Trade is good. Even deficits aren't terrible. But these massive, massive trade deficits hurt working and middle-class Americans. We need to bring the jobs back. We need to bring some manufacturing back. back. We need fair and balanced trade. And, and it, look, if he wins, I think people, you know, people in the House and the Senate, they have to run for office in the House every two years, uh, in the Senate every six years. They know they're going to be back up for election. They're, right. they're going to have to make changes. Andy, I want a one-word answer from you. The answer is either right or wrong. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. The government has stepped too far into the Internet, in, into banking, into health reform, health care, and uh, I think I'm missing one, energy. What, am I right or wrong? Right. Okay, thank I you, I, Andy I wish Pusser. I could give you absolutely right, but you only wanted one word. Okay, thank you, Andy, because we're out of time. You're terrific. Thank you so thank much. You.